capsule pixie dust. Oh my gosh, and it's the plant wallpaper. <gasps> pixie dust, I am so proud of you. Oh my goodness, my friends. Here we are with our elder pixie dust, getting ready to possibly dust the last of the pixies, whatever that is supposed to mean, uh, because it, pixie dust doesn't have much longer for this world, you guys. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. We're beginning to, to wiggle some, some of our last woggles. And, uh, well, at least Pixie Dust has left behind quite a legacy already. Before we even dive back into that, uh, well, I suppose the breeding machine. The genetic, random genetic breeder? Now I'm getting laboratory like, vibes. In any case, Pixie Dust has just gotten a rock arch for us. And they have just gone ahead and they have unlocked one of the new aquatic walls. Yes, yes. Now we are even more surrounded by plants this is so cool i cannot wait to see we also have like the fish wallpaper now which is hilarious in its own right uh but i love the fact that we've got this one too i i can be surrounded by greenery everywhere we go now we've got a under river piece we've got some of the underwater pieces we've got like the zebra wallpaper the big snake wallpaper which is freaking adorable we've got the jungle wallpaper which i really usually prefer like the big snake wallpaper is actually pretty cute too we should probably put that like somewhere in one of the celery rooms because that seems like something the celery dogs would have. Uh, we ended up with these cracked egg wallpapers at some point and I don't even remember when or why or how or where. Uh, and I like it. I like it. And let's go ahead and see what does the rock arch look like? This is gonna be a little tricky because there's not a lot of room in their room. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Can you imagine them going under it and possibly getting stuck and then having to just stand there in distress until I pluck them out and feed them? I can. However, I also love the look of it. I cannot wait to make a aquarium room where we can just put the, the gravitational floaty bit in there and we can just watch our wobble dogs hopefully thrive. How they're going to eat? Uh, maybe they're just gonna have to spin around and be surrounded by tons and tons of food spinning in the air. Uh, that's probably the way it's gonna have to go. Also, are you two okay? What, what are you doing down here? Pixie dust, what is happening? Like, what is going on? Are you guys all right? Like, what is happening? Okay, Celery Steve just, what are you two doing? Wait, who, who, what, what, what? Like, what's going on? Why are there all these sounds? What's happening? Pixie dust, you and Cubelet. What is going on? What is happening? Oh my gosh, Cubelet, was it you? Cubelet, are you okay? Like, what were you doing to Pixie dust? <gasps> Cubelet, oh, you're starving to death. No, Cubelet, eat this, eat this, quick. Go, 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 Cubelet, eat, 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 eat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we need emergency, emergency raisins, emergency raisins this is I knew I should have gone ahead and I should have go like already have restocked their their raisin supply in here these guys are just little they're little and small and little and they they need to be able to have all of the raisins they need okay 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 um all right all right all right all right I got this I got this let's not panic I'm panicking but let's not panic um I need to remember they never use that music rock so I'm gonna go ahead and move it this they just get stuck on I need to be a little bit more realistic about what the puppies have actually can use because <laughs> I've been getting them stuck so badly oh, let's put the let's put this part over here and then I'm gonna move this over here for just a second to collect up a bunch of well I guess I don't need to uh, if I'm just gonna put the actual like raisin dispenser right there all right hang in there guys I'm so sorry little ones I didn't mean to accidentally almost starve you to death I was busy trying to untangle like the 11 legs of one dog off of the four heads of another you know how it is. All right, let's see. Is this gonna be my, my raisin? Okay. Where are we going? Sorry about that dragon fruit. Sorry about that. Let's eat you back over. Oh my gosh. Look, we're, I'm okay. I'm really worried about this pup now because I'm pretty darn heckin' sure that uh, actually dragon raisin is not. Oh, I meant seed just puppated. But I'm pretty sure that dragon raisin is not a glutton. They're just eating literally all, literally all of our raisins. And I'm kind of worried about that. Ew, I might as well put the half eaten food in there too. Uh, all right, so I need to remember raisins are going to be in the Halloween. That's where they are. They're in the spooky treat dispenser because 
Oh, I hate to say it. As I have gotten older and learned more about the truth of how terrible sugar is for you, and it's really a lot worse than I ever thought it was, uh, I get why people would hand out raisins instead of, you know, the good stuff during Halloween. Uh, and I, I get it now. I get it now. I would do crayons, probably. I don't want to disappoint someone so badly that they just have, like, raisin trauma from Halloween. Um, also, I don't really like raisins, but don't tell Chips he loves raisins. And I, I don't know, I don't know, you know, don't know how he would take it. Probably he would just say that there's more raisins for him. <laughs> but in any case, um, like, I don't think that that little one's a glutton, but I'm getting worried. But all right, with pixie dust, <gasps> somebody just unlocked us a treasure chest. I didn't even know we could get treasure chest. I am very excited about this. But with pixie dust, only moments away from death. As I was once told, hummingbirds are always minutes away from death. Uh, that's a different story though. It has to do with their very fast metabolism. Let's go ahead and let's take pixie dust and crossbreed pixie dust with some of our other wobble pups that really just, we feel called to go ahead and summon them towards. Uh, and I think, I kind of want to crossbreed pixie dust and celery the 12th because both of these two are elders. Very important elders who may not have much longer, but I don't think we've done pixie dust and dragon fruit yet, have we? And those two have been companions and friends for many years. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do that one first. I don't know what we're going to create. Not really something that's going in any of the directions we're aiming for with the celery lineage or our lily pads or our pixel, pixel puppies. Try saying that six times fast, I tell you what. But that's okay, because sometimes you just need to follow your heart, especially when it has to do with randomly generated chaos. <gasps> Hello, little ones! See, look, little heart puppies. That's adorable. That makes me feel good, and also that's extremely red. You guys, I think I actually, I, this is gonna sound silly. Oh my gosh, and that one's pink. Oh no. Oh no, they're they're both, oh no, they're all, oh, I'm looking and they're all so cute now. <laughs> but when was the last time we had a red dog like this? I legitimately don't think we ever have. Oh, and it's got hearts on it and everything. Oh, okay, look, I'll, I'll, we'll crossbreed it once with this pink heart one. They both have heart patterns. I'm hoping we aren't gonna lose that red and I'm not gonna be kicking myself too hard, but if we do, maybe we'll do another mix. <gasps> Hello! Oh my gosh, it's a cupid puppy. Okay, I want a cupid puppy. I want to get those wings on like a heart dog and I want it to be a cupid puppy because that would be so cute, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Oh, and look at the curly tail. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, look at the cute little curly tail. <gasps> we could get a little cupid puppy. I just need to see. Okay, we've, we're, we're doing good on the heart pattern. I like the heart patterns that are a little darker. Uh, we don't have the wings that I'm really going for. Uh, I like the curly tails too. All right, maybe we can try getting the wings with a couple of these. Hopefully I don't get too far away from cupid puppy. <gasps> wait, 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 I think we got one. I think we got one. Oh, this is not a drill. Oh my gosh, okay, so not you, not you. It's this one. Oh my gosh, and look at it go. You guys, we have a little cupid puppy with that cute little tail and it's got a lot of thoughts about how to fly into corners, but it has really beautiful wings. That's so cool. I'll take it, I'll take it. Cause I was just saying we should follow our heart, right? And there we go, cupid puppy. How I'm gonna put that puppy to use, no idea. I guess I'm making parrots now. We've moved on from all of the other logical projects and now I'm making parrots. That's fine, that's totally fine. Also, I hope that we are feeding a celery seed here uh, enough of the gelatin and everything else that they can go ahead and become very, very green. So we're gonna give them quite a few praises. And then, speaking of the celery lineage, celery the 12th. I know you don't have much longer for this life, my friend. And I do not think I have actually left you with a proper celery air. I think we have, I'm absolutely going to be putting this guy, by the way, I have not forgotten about him. He's going into one of our labs because I want to have him barely change at all, maybe get some fish pellets so he can have a smaller head and smaller legs, but that's it. But we're saving him. 
Now we have a parrot cupid puppy. That I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I might set it loose and just let it evolve into whatever it wants. Or we might try to go ahead and isolate the red coloration because that's a pretty uncommon color for our wobble dogs as well. Uh, and we do have this backup pup. So this could be celery the, the 13th if we really need, but it's kind of short. So we're, and then we also have another one over here. But the thing about the celery line is that they're supposed to have like really long legs. They're supposed to have wings because originally they were supposed to be like, I think dragonflies or something like that. Boy, did we ever veer away from that pretty hard. <laughs> but we'll try one more time with bringing in celery the 12th and we'll go ahead with pixie dust. I have really enjoyed both of these two. They have, they have been part of my heart for quite a long time now. And let us see if their children will inherit the earth or at least the very terrifying lab, like big messy laboratory that we have. Uh, all right, well, let's try mixing these two together. And I'm gonna remember, try to go with long dogs after, well, you know what? I might as well just go ahead and, there we go. All right, after this, we'll try to go with long dogs. My, my request was answered actually, <laughs> with some, with no small amount of relief. Uh, but you know what? Okay. I'm really bad at sticking to the science we're supposed to be doing, aren't I? Because it's just too cute. I want to see what the big variations could be. And apparently that was a really good genetic decision. Thank you very much. Ooh, is that the smooth tail dog? I don't think we've had a smooth tail in a long time. Ooh, this one might do. I like this one. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. I like that coloration too. Uh, do we have any more? Wow, look at the length of these tails. This is fantastic. I think we can possibly get some some longer dogs. So let's let's experiment a little. I'm I am not getting longer dogs, but I mean, if, are we adding the tail? Because if we're adding the tail, I think we are really winning when it comes to having sheer length on these puppies. Let's see what we have here. All right, and I think. Most everybody is the same, which is fine. Because we've got the same kind of wings. We've got the same coloration. We've got the same color ears. A lot of the ears are the cute little like uh, dimpled ears. Hello, Ooh, that's really yellow. I actually really, really, really like that look. That's fun. That's very fun. It, it sort of fits a different kind of theme. I really like that one a lot. Uh, let's see if I can get a few more of you in here, my friend. All right, let's try with these two. Because getting a little further in to... Oh, look at this. This is, this is getting really good. But getting a little bit further into the depths of our genetic process here does allow us to go ahead and see if we're going to get some really, really weird genes just popping in. Hi, guys! Your heads are getting really big, actually. Oh dear. I'm a little concerned we may be reaching excessive head size on some of these pups. So I'm gonna pick the ones that proved they could stand up. And then, you know, the tail is definitely super long. So at least we've got that going for us. Uh, and we've got some good coloration. I like where we're headed here. Oh. Hello, and this is going to be our pup with <laughs> a huge head. <laughs> All right, um, you know, I could see this being celery the 12th. We might really have to work on that whole banana thing to get the length back. I, I, you know, now that I think of it, I still haven't unlocked those celery sticks, but you know what? We're giving it our best shot. Perhaps I should be trying to go ahead and breed for those legs a bit more often. And mint seed, ah. <sighs> You, you could carry some of the celery line, but okay. If we don't have a better celery before, ooh, dragon raisin. Eh, eh, I'm coming dragon raisin. Let me just get you some puppation right over here. So hopefully, Whew, okay, there we go. Uh, and then I saw some loose puppy teeth. Da -da 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 -da. We'll put that away. Any eggs? We're safe, good. Whew, but all right, so, oh no. <laughs> oh no, pixie dust, no. Dragon Raisin has attached themselves to your tail. What a way. Oh my gosh, look at Pixie Dust trying to run off. 
<laughs> Why is this so hilariously cute? Oh my gosh. Well, at least it's almost over. Hang in there, hang in there. That was pretty funny, not gonna lie. Dragon Raisin, you're quite the handful. I'm mildly alarmed by you at this stage, I'm not gonna lie. Also, where did your, huh? <gasps> an egg! Whew, okay, I'm glad I saw that in time. <sighs> okay, phew. Uh, oh, Chicken Don't is passing, oh, oh, whoops, okay. <gasps> no, Pixie Dust and Chicken Don't, Ugh! no, oh my gosh. Two, two at the same time? Oh, chicken out. No, I was gonna go pet chicken out because I really feel like I didn't give them enough. Oh, wait, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. That's really sad. I know. Um, also, Pixie Dust, I really, I need to be careful with your genes because I don't remember what was in your stomach. So I need to, I had to like eat the body parts over the edge. Boy, we have some adventures here, don't we, friends? We truly do. Am I slightly concerned? Always. But hey, at least, at least our puppy's got some buried treasure. We managed to go ahead and we bred up some parrots. Um, and I mean, celery hasn't passed on yet. So maybe we just need to go ahead and try breeding celery with someone else. But I kind of want to set this little parrot free, like in honor of pixie dust. And let's see, pixie dust. So this could be flame dust phoenix dust phoenix dust is a really cool name but like cupid if this was this was definitely a cupid puppy we have three legs we're kind of a pixel puppy so i think we might go ahead this one could be hmm hmm let's see pixie i, I you know flame dust sounds kind of cool or like uh like huh Red dust, heart dust. I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. This is a really cool parrot puppy though. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna invite it into our life. Let it go ahead and gather whatever genes it may. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on some of the other genetics that we have available to us because I, okay, what's going on here? Everybody having an interesting time? Uh, because I really want to see where our experiments go. And that's what's good. No, celery, <gasps> celery, yeah. Okay, I have no idea who we're going to mix and match just right to be able to pull off the celery line, but we're doing it next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.